All right, champ. Sleep tight. myself now. Oh, something about trying to get a kid to sleep, as it turns out, probably has more effect than me. <laughs> nah, I think they'll, they'll be out like a light in no time. <laughs> After all, it's a hell of a busy day they've had, and God, it seems like not that long ago I felt like my whole life was just a giant rush around just to try and give them some days like today, you know? But... Well... Then you came along. <laughs> oh, the kid's mad about you. Well... Oh, don't get me wrong, they are mad about you, but I don't know if it's because they're mad about you or they're mad about seeing me as well as happy as you very much make me um kinda brings me onto something I wanted to talk about for a while now actually well uh, apart from Hmm. Uh, I'll I'll go to bed after. I promise. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to talk to you about something. I, I'm not stammering. Okay, I'm stammering a little bit. Okay, I'm stammering a little bit. I'm stammering a little bit. The, uh, I. Um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I I'm nervous. <laughs> haven't, um, haven't actually been nervous around you in for probably about a year at this point. <laughs> well, it was one morning's cuddles, I remember. Uh, that was, well, I guess I talked a lot about how me and the kid come into, we're a package deal and how you, I was hoping, might become the, you know, the person who completes our little family and well, the little one sure loves you. <laughs> no, that's not what makes me nervous. Um, well, uh, why don't we uh, maybe uh, we can talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. How about tomorrow? Uh, well, what does it matter about now? I could just... What's the difference between now and tomorrow? I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Come on, we can go and lie down and fall asleep as, you know, sleeping people uh, do. <sighs> oh, okay, um... If it must be today, then... <laughs> I, I don't know if I've been really, really nervous like this around you for... a long time. We... Before I met you, I was... I'll be honest, kind of shattered. I'd lost any and all faith that I would ever find the woman 
for me that there was a woman for me. I felt like a guy who was destined to forever be a kind of second choice that that the world didn't want guys like me. <laughs> that women certainly didn't want guys like me. And I was becoming increasingly convinced that it was always going to be the kind of alpha douchebags that were always the popular ones. It would always be that cycle of, you know, female friends telling me, oh, I just can't find a good guy. While I'm sitting there eternally single, like, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> I um I guess I'd lost a lot of faith in myself. And my one solace in life was that I could at least throw every ounce of effort I had in my body at allowing my kid to have the best life I could possibly give them. And on one fateful day I literally bump into you and just It's just like a, a, an angel just there. I know that sounds traumatic, but um, that's how it felt to me. Like I said, I long lost hope for romance in my life, and especially with the kids, and I just thought that could I even risk that with, you know, I don't want them growing up with all these strange women who they learn the names of and next week they're not coming back anymore. And especially smart kid, I didn't want them to think, ever, ever think that, that they were in some way responsible. You know, that they couldn't ever see me with someone else because they were there, that they were in the way somehow. They were a detriment to me somehow instead of the reality of them being the best part of my life. Well, like I say, that'll change the you because suddenly there were two best parts of my life, both of them vying for that number one spot and... I don't know if either of you will ever really have a solo number one spot. I think it's always going to be shared. <laughs> I really haven't been oh, this nervous in a while. Um, they love you. I love you. There's You're really the, the true mother. They never really had. They trust you. They look at you so adoringly and you're the partner to me I only wish I could have met sooner. I I, I had a great childhood and I try every day to give them a great childhood and I see what a huge positive difference you being here has made for them. And don't get me wrong, for me as well. But I guess I can't ever get away from thinking about them before myself most of the time. And we do have some nice nights in at the movies or, you know, the odd evening we hire a babysitter, but... Well... <laughs> it's nice to indulge, but... I'm always going to be thinking about them, you know? And I see the incredible value you've brought to their life as well. And I always wanted that stable home life for them. And I never... <laughs> I never thought of me running around trying to make enough money and trying to do this and that and everything else that they would ever really have it the way I had it, the way I wanted them to have it, but now... 
Mother Tuvas can pitch in on everything and it just... It's all worked so far. I'm not saying it'll always be easy, but I think we can always make it work. And... I'm at a point where I can't imagine ever going back. I certainly don't want to. I don't want to imagine... I mean, don't get me wrong, if the day, if the day ever came, I would find a way to persevere for them, but it's not something I want. So, what I want... <laughs> God, I had, a, I had all these plans of how I was going to say this in my head, and it's all just... Um, I... I want to... I want to show both of you that I love both of you so much that I've never been happier in my life than when the three of us are here and just hanging out and seeing both of you interact so lovingly and the whole environment so great I've never felt this way before I never want to stop feeling this way I love how all of us seem to make each other's lives better by just being around and I'm so <laughs> it's so amazing and I was thinking how to show you you know, more than just with words, I had to really show you that I'm so completely sold in all of this on us, on this family that we've made. And then it kind of occurred to me, and that's when I started being nervous for the last couple of nights when I thought about it, because it's the only thing that makes sense, and yet... <laughs> um, well... As much as I ramble on, you know I'm not great at the big speeches. Um, certainly not in this character, anyway. I... In keeping with the age-old tradition and, you know, our values and culture, I, um... I thought that the best way to show you that I'm all in is to do this to get down on one knee and ask you to marry me and hope I'm not making the biggest mistake in the world please say yes <laughs> I was so... <laughs> I, I feel like I shouldn't be at this point, but I was still so scared that somehow I was going to... That this was how I was going to ruin everything, that everything was so good, and this was the way I'd found to make it all fall apart. I'm so glad. <laughs> Can I get married? <laughs> and... <laughs> These are good tears, I promise. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was pretty sure that you were happy, but you never know this kind of question could have made you realize you didn't want to be here forever. <laughs> it's just, I was so scared I was going to ruin everything because the worst thing I can think of is losing you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you.
Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I guess our memory of this moment should be me breaking down to tears about how it might have gone wrong. And instead, I <laughs> have this big, ridiculous grin on my face. Well, I guess it's not ridiculous. This is, if I'm not going to grin in this circumstance, when am I going to grin, right? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> So happy. <sighs> huh? No, I haven't thought about a date. I haven't dared to start planning anything, but um I guess we could start thinking about it now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get past the will you marry me. <laughs> it's not, I just, I, I don't want to dwell on it, but yeah, I guess negative experiences, scarring, trauma, wah, whatever, you're not, you're the best thing, you and the kid are the two best things if it ever happens to me, and it's just, I almost feel like I don't deserve it sometimes. I know you're gonna, I know you're not gonna like that. I'm just throwing it out there. It's an amazing thing, and I'm so lucky. So, um, uh, regaining some composure here. Do you have any thoughts on dates? Well, I best get thinking, cause, uh, I hear these things can get kind of expensive, especially if you don't plan it ahead well, and I don't mind spending money on it. I just don't want to, you know, be silly and waste money we could have spent better on that kind of thing. And also make sure everyone can come. And yeah, I, I, <laughs> I love you. And I can't wait to marry you. <laughs> Awesome to say aloud. I can't wait to marry you. No, I'm not going to stop grinning for a week, I don't think. 